Hello photographers and welcome to my photography channel. Today in this awesome tutorial, I'm going to take you through step by step how to use DxO Nick Collection 4, particularly the Color FX Pro in Affinity Photo. Now bear in mind, I'm using Affinity Photo, but you can use the same workflow in Photoshop and also my primary subjects today are portrait but the tools and knobs are exactly the same so you can use the same tools for landscape photography or any type of color photography now i've got three photos ready so i'm going to show you three way how to use color fx pro so first one i'm going to go straight to filter and then plugin nick collection and click color fx pro now there you go now it's analyzing it and this should give me a result immediately now there you go now on the left hand side you have 36 presets to choose from which means that you can use your entire weekend just editing a photo now to be honest with you particularly in this photo my personal favorite is this gold look which is the classic portrait hang on a second either this one or this one or this one now let me show you already before and after so there you go you see a significant improvement and in color portrait photography gold is one of the most used color anyway so we're going to stick with that and i'm going to make it single it doesn't change much so i'm going to leave it side by side now remember each time you change a preset the right hand side all the tools and buttons changes too let me show you an example so we are in classic portrait what if i change to let's say foliage bump and you can clearly see that all the tools changed already so each of the tools has their unique set of sliders so i'm not going to go through all of that in this one video because that will make the video about two hours or more what i'm going to do i'm going to stick with the portrait department particularly this one so at least you have a basic idea how the tool works now reflex i'm going to stick with gold because i this is my personal favorite and then bump it quite a bit you can already see a little bit of change which is amazing light fall off if you go to 100 it will make sure that everything is covered by gold but it can reduce it so 50 percent gets covered but i'm gonna keep it to all the way up then position and light direction i'm not going to touch it because it depends on your light fall off so if you go all the way like that let's say at nine then you can change the position like that and then you can change the source direction like that put the slider and it moves but in this case i want everywhere So that should be enough looks good especially if you pay attention now the two third of the photo looks gold where her stomach looks still quite neutral but not too much now central point is basically can do local adjustment but i tend to avoid central points particularly in uh, color fx pro because let me show you exactly what happens i'm going to click it and put it on her face so immediately it's just applied on her face but whole point of using this plugin is for the whole photograph particularly in this photo so it doesn't really help me so what i'm going to do i'm going to um, delete it so now i have a global look now portrait and glamour glow goes hand by hand so i'm going to add some glow here look at that fantastic saturation and global one looks good as it is maybe i will add some shadow which will help me to add some contrast so there you go looks good now dark and center or bright and center so if i add bright it will make it high key if i reduce it it will make it low key so maybe i will add some high key in the border i will reduce 
some brightness and the center size I will make it nice and contrasty look at that amazing now so far the photo looks just glorious so I'm gonna click OK and there you go our photo is ready so I used on the main photograph but I recommend you to use Control J to make sure that you work non-destructively now moving on to the next photo which I already have a duplicate layer ready I'm going to go to the filter plugin Nick collection color effects pro there you go now in this case I like something different maybe you know what I'm gonna keep something professional looking for example uh, black hat portrait something nice powerful punchy and contrasty and the bleach bypass I'm going to add some brightness because I like high key photograph a lot especially when it comes to photography look at that already looks powerful beautiful strong maybe you know what I'm gonna add some saturation because I don't really like the desaturated look to be honest with you not a big fan contrast maybe I'll reduce some contrast and then local contrast I'll add some contrast in this case I'm going to actually I'm gonna go back there and reduce some highlight I think the highlight is way too strong for my taste now this looks good now the photo it has enough glow to be honest with you so what I can do I can add some warmth in my glow so maybe punch it up add some saturation looks much 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 better and vignette lens should I add some vignette or should I not add vignette what it does so let me add some vignette circle brightness voila actually looks much better I like it you know what I'm not gonna go forward because I like the look already as it is and click OK it's saving the image beam before after fantastic now the third one this is a strong photography because I think here the subject here doing some tattoo and artwork so this deserves a gritty look so what I'm going to do I'm going to do control J go to the filter plugin make collection color effects and this should give me some kind of gritty look on the preset so let's see where are they clarity bump no maybe you see this is what happens when you have a lot of choice because now you have to select first your initial look and have to work on it now what I'm going to do I'm going to go back upward aha I think I found it so this is the one that I was looking for so make it like that but I want a little bit saturation so I'm going to add some saturation here but I will make it a little bit gold um, cooler and add some more saturation go to the glow add some more glow standard high key more saturation dynamic high key and add some contrast once I'm done I will add some black because I think it needs a little bit contrast there you go looks nice powerful punchy and then mm, should I do anything else or am I good right there I am going to go to the bluish look add some saturation and I think this is where this should stop because it looks good and beautiful as it is and I will click OK and it will take some time there you go so we got three different look number one two and three and then number one and two has not much difference to be honest with you but at least you get an idea my ideal look for portrait is this so that's the reason why I kept both but the third one 
this is more powerful gritty look which i love so i hope this tutorial helped you a lot the next video will be on landscape using color pro so stay tuned and i see you in the next video bye bye